Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today I am doing a wishlist video for Black Friday and I maybe should start with that I'm filming this in the beginning of October and me and some of my friends, two of my friends, we decided to have a no buy during October and um, I have talked quite a lot about that I want to do a low buy or a no buy and I actually think that I will try to do a long no buy but <laughs> I am maybe shopping addict and I want to have like the last big shopping spree before I going on a longer no buy and Black Friday is coming up, so I have some things that I want to buy on Black Friday. I maybe want to buy everything and some of these things might not be on sale on Black Friday, I don't know, but I wrote them down, some things on my phone <laughs> that I want to buy and I think that I will buy during Black Friday. So I think we just hop into this. And I'm also planning on doing a get rid with me and talk a little bit more about if I want why I want to do a no buy and my feelings surrounding that and everything. But today is going to be a wish list video and I have quite a lot of things if I'm thinking on buying everything at the same time. But okay, we can start with I think I did a wish list last year and I think I talked about some of the same things but this year I think I actually will pull the trigger. So we can start with Black Moon and I talked about Black Moon Cosmetics last year and I think I want to buy the Urban Myth palette. I, I think I actually will put in some pictures. I think I will buy the Urban Myth palette and uh, yeah. I do want it. I don't know if like the quality is super good. I haven't heard like amazing reviews on it and not that many that I follow have done videos about it. But I do really like it and I have the Orb of Light that is a very neutral palette and I want to try something more for them. And they usually have a really good Black Friday sale and I also want some lipsticks. I think last year I talked about that I wanted the red bundle, but like I do not need that many new red lipsticks, but it is four red lipsticks, no, four lipsticks that I want. I want this little kit with, I don't know if I'm going to use all these colors, but like I have seen so many use them and I do love this. I think it's called... Maybe I should look this up. The Autumn Trio. And this has been limited edition, but it has been with Black Moon since last Black Friday or last autumn. So I guess it will stay for long. So I am finally pulling the trick on this one. And I know that I'm going to order from Black Moon. And I also want to buy this deranged, a red one. This is supposed to be a really good dupe for Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood and you know that I love that one. So I'm going to buy four lippies. I know that people love their liquid lipstick formula and maybe the Urban Myth palette. I think I will just throw it in there. And Black Moon usually have a really good discount on Black Friday. The shipping is expensive though, but I have ordered there once before and it came really really fast. So. It's going to be a Black Moon order from me this year. And from Luna Beauty, I also want some things. I, of course, want the Moon Spell Volume 2. And I want the orange liquid lipstick that was in this Moon Spell collection. I don't know, though, if this is coming to Beauty Bay or not. Luna Beauty is still on Beauty Bay, but uh, not everything, so I don't know what's going on. I really hope that I don't have to order from the US because I want this moon spell too and I want that liquid lipstick. I have one liquid lipstick from him that is a red one. I love that that was from moon spell one. I love that and I will buy this orange one 
because he has an amazing formal on his liquid lipstick. The only thing with the palette, I like the color story and everything and I like that it's the same front of the palette but in a different color. But I don't like that it is, I guess it's bigger because it's one row more of colors and I, I don't really get that when you're doing a volume 2, I think they should be the same size. But this one I will also buy and I hope that I can buy it from Beauty Bay and not Luron Beauty's website. But if it's not coming to Beauty Bay, I guess I will buy it from Luron Beauty's website. I have never done it though, so we will see, but I want this palette and it's going to be a palette that will be in my collection. Then this one, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. <laughs> But it's the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. And I r like the theme uh, on the palette. Nomad doesn't do my favorite eyeshadow formula. I like it, but it's not my favorite. But I actually think that I will buy this one. But I'm not sure. But I think. And they also usually have a good Black Friday deal. So if I'm going to buy from them, it's going to be on Black Friday. And I just hope that this palette would be on a discount. I don't know, maybe I can get in more affordable shipping or something, but the Haunted Europe, I haven't made up my mind 100%. But I wouldn't be surprised if it went into my basket and that I would buy it. And then a new collection that when I'm filming this is released or is shown today, it's the new Lethal Berlin 89 and I do love Lethal as you may know and maybe it's not the most color sword that is like most appealing to me but I would buy this one I guess it's not going to be discounted on Black Friday because when they doing a release close to Black Friday it usually is not on discount but I think I will buy this. I love Lethal's shadows. I like the pre-made palettes and I am born 89 and I have been to Berlin. Not 89 though because I was just a child <laughs> but I've been to Berlin. I really liked Berlin and yeah I think I will buy this and it's a duochrome in this one and this wash looks really good and it's an orange shade in it so yeah I, this will this will be mine. Maybe I have some things. Maybe it's not super interest. I have some base products, but it's only base products that I have left. <laughs> okay. So from Nabla, it's actually two things that I want to buy. I want to buy another blush. I have quite a lot of blushes from Nabla, but I have this one in their skin glazing formula I have Lola that is a pinkish blush and then I have adults only that is a dark red blush that I have on today I love these if you have ever re read my description of what I have on my face you know that I use Nabla's base products a lot so I want to buy the shade Truth I think that is the only blush that I don't have I think they have three and uh, I wanted one and I'm going to buy it. And I also want to buy their new concealer. In the beginning, now long when they released concealer, it was a high coverage concealer and that is not my thing. But this is a little bit more creamy, something that suits me more. So I will buy the Truth blush and the concealer. I just hope that the concealer is light enough but Nabla is usually good in the lighter color range so yeah I these two things I know that I will buy and I think I will buy them from Nabla's own website because the shipping is amazing within Europe if you buy from there it takes like two days from Italy to Sweden. I love it. Then two other th base things that I don't think is super fun for you, but a Swedish brand that's called Isadora. I watched a video from Margareta Gras, a Swedish YouTuber, where she tried 
a contour pen and I was like okay I want that and I was so close to go in to buy it and I was like no I want to know by during October so I'm not going to buy it but this one I will buy I think I will be able to find it in store in Sweden and I, it looked really good on her and I want to use more cream things I have two cream contour bronzers but they are really like super super creamy <laughs> I hope this is not that super creamy and it looked really good on her it looked really like and nice and not that strong cream contour so it's just like a pen and um, I'm going to buy it and maybe before Black Friday I don't know but I'm going to buy it and hopefully I can buy it in store so I can like look at the colors but I guess that I would have the lightest color because I'm a pale woman and another stick thing that I want to test out mainly because a lot of Swedish beauty Instagrammers that I have that I follow have raved about this and it's the bare mineral stick foundation I was so so close to buy it because it was on sale in Sweden and I went to the store and I swatched the colors but I didn't find I don't know which color is perfect for me and I was like okay it's warm I don't I don't need another foundation right now but I think I might buy it on Black Friday or it will be a foundation that I buy when something else run out. I can't remember the whole name but I don't know how many stick con sticky foundations Bare Minerals has but what I've heard this is really really good it's like skin like and it's in a really nice coverage and I look really glowy I have this stick foundation from Milk that I don't use that much because I think it's a little bit like too stiff it's a really 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 like a stiff foundation the color is good and everything and I like how it looks but I don't like to work with it and I think that bare mineral stick foundation will suit me better and then the last thing that I want to talk about that hasn't even been shown but I'm guessing that Melt is coming out with a holiday collection they usually do it I bought the Vida Muerte when it came two years ago and I bought the Beetlejuice last year and when I'm filming this they haven't I don't think they've even talked about a holiday release but they will come out with one I'm like 100% sure or I just have missed it and I might buy it I love the holiday releases melt you more than their normal releasing I love the Vida Muerte I think it's a really it was a really cool collection it's not my favorite palette but I like how they look and the build use I love build use and I love those palettes so it's going to be fun to see what they are releasing because I guess they are and I think I might will buy that maybe there will sneak peek something during this time that I record this then it will come up I will leave info in the description if I if you're showing something that I will hate we will see but yeah that is actually all that I want to buy for Black Friday I don't think I will buy this all of these but the things that I am like 99% sure of is Black Moon the Lippis, Moon Spell and Lippy and also the Isadora thing the contour pen maybe I will buy that if I have like a discount code before Black Friday maybe I will buy it just after October is over I don't know we will see maybe I should get back in the middle of the frame so yeah that is my Black Friday wish list for this year and also I will buy the Nobla things because I want one more blush like the blushes from Nobla is like the only blushes I use right now I love them so yeah that was all for my Black Friday wish list is there something that you have been eyeing and like really waiting for to buy like in Sweden Black Friday isn't such a super big thing it's getting bigger and bigger but it's not like in the US but maybe this year, <laughs> we will see. 
I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!